It's starting the Drive Green project. As a culmination of efforts to reduce impact on the environment, K-Line has launched the Drive Green project, integrating the cutting edge technologies of domestic shipyards and ship equipment manufacturers the construction of the world's highest standard next generation environmentally friendly flagship, the Drive Green Highway, is now underway. As a result of simulations to strike a balance between the reduction of environmental impact through lower fuel consumption and the improvement of cargo carrying capacity, the Drive Green Highway has been designed to be a post Panamax ship with a length of about 200 meters and a width of 37.5 meters. It has a carrying capacity of 7,500 passenger cars. Reduction of environmental impact is targeted at reducing sulfur oxides by over 90% and nitrogen oxides by over 50% compared to conventional ships. Moreover, along with achieving these aims, we are working for the reduction of carbon dioxide emissions by over 25% by improving fuel efficiency through various energy saving technologies. These environmental measures will be compliant with the air pollutant emission regulations planned by the IMO or International Maritime Organization before they enter into force. The engine on board will significantly reduce nitrogen oxides by combining a water emulsified fuel system that adds water to fuel and an exhaust gas recirculation unit that reuses some of the exhaust gas. In addition, through a device that automatically controls the efficient operation of the turbocharger to match the engine output, it becomes possible to comprehensively reduce nitrogen oxide and carbon dioxide emissions. The exhaust gas outlet is mounted with a unit to wash the sulfur oxides out of exhaust gases, called a scrubber. The scrubber takes advantage of the fact that sulfur oxides easily dissolve in water and removes the sulfur oxides in the exhaust gas using seawater or fresh water. Through this unit, the ship is able to comply with the sulfur oxide regulations of the IMO and cost efficiency is also enhanced. Renewable energy is used as well. Over 900 solar panels line the top deck. The amount of power that can be generated makes this one of the world's largest solar power systems for ships. It generates enough electricity to power all lights on the car decks. The ship also has many other kinds of equipment to reduce environmental impact and save energy. Inverter control, which has a large energy saving effect, is used for the draft fan and seawater pump. The heat of the exhaust gas from diesel powered generators is also not wasted, but used effectively. Low friction paint is used on the bottom of the ship to reduce friction drag. It effectively reduces fuel consumption by about 2 to 4 percent compared to conventional paint. A high efficiency propeller is used to achieve energy savings of approximately 2 percent. Asymmetric fins are placed on both sides of the rudder to save fuel and raise speed. The streamlined, stylish design cuts wind resistance by about 20%. By introducing an optimal voyage support system to achieve low fuel consumption and optimal operations, carbon dioxide emissions can be reduced by about 3 to 5%. Together, these effects can achieve a reduction in carbon dioxide emissions of over 25%. Additionally, the large size of the ship will make it even more possible to meet diverse needs for transportation. Not only would it be able to transport passenger cars, but also roll-on, roll-off cargo, heavy construction machinery, and railway cars, among others. The world's first next-generation environmentally friendly flagship that integrates cutting-edge technologies, the Drive Green Highway. 
with the capacity to carry 7,500 cars, this ship will be launched in spring 2016. To achieve K-Line's Environmental Vision 2050, we will continue to take on advanced challenges and support the world's logistics infrastructure through transportation services that excel in energy efficiency.